Howdy folks, today we're going to have a small kit. This is some figures and a uh, guard tower. This is from Master Box. Uh, I believe they're some of the best figures out there for plastic. Um, so these are some of the figures that are going to be used in my upcoming diorama for the, the, the railway diorama, the train one. Um, let's take a look what we get inside this little package. So here's the box. It's greeted with four figures, so you get two normal soldiers and two with like uh, trench coats type thing. The guard tower uh, and the light and the uh, uh, phone. Uh, I believe the kit number or item number would be MB3546. Um, on the back is basically everything within the little kit. So two sprues. This is the guard tower. There's your figures and your paint guide. And obviously all the numbers correspond to what parts go where. Um, yeah, pretty simple. Um, they do have colour callouts by Vallejo, but there is no paperwork. So it's just that's how it comes. We've got two pieces of plastic in it. So you get a uh, piece of acetate or clear plastic for your light. So here's one sprue which contains the guard tower itself. So here's the floor, two walls, and then more walls, the ladder, the roof, support beams. These are beams for the uh, floor itself. This part here are for the light. These are structural bars for the um, guard tower. I noticed there's no ejector pins on any of these, so you haven't got to worry about filling or clean up. It is a little bit flashy in some places, um, and there is a couple of uh, seam lines you'd have to take care of on where it's molded. But the plastic looks pretty good for for Master Box. As I say, I've heard quite good reviews. Master Box are some of the best plastic figures that you're going to get. Um, the next step up for plastic figures, I probably would say, um, I've been told were mini art figures are pretty good for plastic as well. I'm not a figure painter, so I am going to build these and paint them, but obviously they're not going to look amazing because, as I say, I'm not a figure painter. So I'm going to try and do the best I can. Um, so this section here is one soldier, here's another soldier, and then as you can see, so there's, there's four guys. These two here with the trench coats, and these are normal. You get their rifles, to, uh, their extra ammunition belts, helmets. So it's all separate parts. Um, so it might be easy for painting. I don't, as I say, because I'm not a figure painter, I don't know how how you go about it. Do you uh, glue the whole tie figure together and paint him as a whole, or do you do it separately and then glue it together? Uh, leave comments down in the comments for people that do figures and uh, let me know because I say I don't know what's the best way of going about it. So there you are guys, just a small little uh, kit with a couple of soldiers and a guard tower from Masterbox. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you later.